hello guys welcome back to my channel and if this is your first time here hello you're welcome please don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell thank you so much so in my last update about this is fate karina was telling grandma that she prefers sonakshi to be karan's wife instead of prita because sonakshi is much more appreciative than prita then risha was advising samu to go and confess his love his feelings for shriti before it is too late then risha noticed that their business is already going down and someone is already trying to ruin them then pretty years this and confirmed it that is the one behind everything that is happening with the lutra's business let's continue critica is playing with pihu while pretty walks down the stairs shailin is setting the table raki and prita comes there with the plate and pretty suddenly stops raki raki get tense asking that what did he mean pretty says that why is raki doing such work when he is present because he is even the son of this family. Raki says that it is not possible since Pritfi is the son-in-law. Pritfi asks Kritika and says that these days, even they as a member of the family have to work. Kritika agrees so she asks Raki to let Pritfi work. Pritfi takes the plate and walks around Sherlin. Sherlin gets uncomfortable with Pritfi. Pritfi even gives her a flying kiss and Sherlin signals to him to stop. Mahesh comes to Pihu saying that she can have dinner with him. But she says that she would have it with Karan, but then explains that they would have it with him tomorrow. She asks if he has befriended her once again. Maya started thinking her. Karan and Risha both walk down the stairs. Karina questions that where are they both going. Karan in a sad voice replies that they are going to a business meeting. Risha asks that why is he so sad and he must be happy about going to a business meeting. Karan signals to him that how can one be happy for a business meeting. Samuel comes there panicking and questions that why are they both still here since they would have already arrived. Rishab says that why is he panicking so much? He is sure that they would not have even arrived. Mayesh asks that who are those people who have arrived? Samuel replies that they are the business investors from London and they usually come on time. Rishab also explains how they are their really old partners of their company. Karan also informs Mayesh how there is something wrong with their financials and someone is stealing money from them. Rishab asks that why is he troubling Mahesh when he told Karan that he would take care of it. Mahesh asks Rishab if Karan is telling the truth. Karan questions if Mahesh thinks that he is lying to him. Samuel also assures Mahesh that they are searching for the person who has deceived them so they will surely find him. Rishab replies that they are just trying without getting any viable results. Prita explains that there is a way which they would be able to find the culprit. She advised Rishab to look out for any new person whom they have hired at the time of the fraud, as usually they are the ones who have done the fraud. Karina scolded Prita saying that she must not think of the business as a physiotherapy. Rishab, however, agrees with Prita, explaining that Prita is right and they must take into consideration the small aspect and he assures everyone of looking into this matter tomorrow morning. Karan asks Prita to wait for him as they might get late from the business meeting. Rishab, however, informs him that the meeting would end soon. Karan gets a smile on his face. Karan explains how Prita got intelligent after staying with him, but Samuel explains that Prita was already smart from the beginning, but she just got tense for some time, because of which she was not able to think clearly, but they can never challenge Prita's intelligence. Rishab explains that Karan is not able to digest it if he praises anyone in front of him, Karan says that it is because he is the best. Mayesh asks him to go and attend the meeting. Samuel also leaves saying that he will come back. Prita along with the entire family goes to the dinner table. Pritfi in a state of tension sits down. Prita sees how Pritfi is looking at Shailin and they both are really tensed and she gets worried. In the night, Prita asks Piu to sit up as she must drink the milk before sleeping. Piu however refused to drink. She lies down and Prita thinks about what she saw at the dinner table. Piu explains that she wants her friend Cuckoo to sleep with the doll, so she would also have to sleep with her in the toy room. Prita replies that if she goes to sleep at the toy room, then she would also sleep with her in the toy room. Piu asks that why would Prita sleep with her, and Prita replies that it is because just like Kiku is her favorite, so she wants to be with her too, just like that she is her favorite too. Prita says that Piu must drink the milk before going to the toy room. Piu agrees to drink it so they both leave. Rishab and Karan are with the investors and they explain how they should have a celebration before for the work which they are doing. 
Rishab says that why not, but then he says that he doesn't drink. The investors explains that it is not necessary that they start every celebration with drinking. He explains how they can even have a dinner and eat sweet. Rishab is really glad with the idea. He calls the waiter, ordering him to take his guest at the reserve table, assuring that he will join them. Rishab is about to leave and Karan says that he will go with him. Rishab says he is going to call Sherlin. Karan also explains that he is going to call Prita, but Rishab says that he should go to the other side. Karan asks if Rishab is trying to get rid of him, but Rishab assures him that there is nothing like that. Kritika is sitting on the bed. She is really tense because of the severe headache that she is suffering from. Prithvi comes out of the washroom thinking that her brother is really suspicious of him. He will be sure that Prithvi is the one behind each and everything. So if that ever happens, then he must make sure that Kritika defends him. Prithvi goes to sit with Kritika and cracks a lame joke. Kritika, however, explains that she is suffering a severe headache, which is unbearable. Prithvi replies that he has a plan which would end her pain. He gives her a tablet, assuring that it will cure everything, and then informs her how he would massage her head, and Prithvi begins to massage Kritika's head. Prita from the corner of the door thinks that she was worrying without any reason as Prithvi is really happy with Kritika and she was just mistaken because of the past which Prithvi had had with Sherlin. Rishab is trying to call Sherlin but Sherlin comes out of the bathroom but she doesn't attend to his call and she applies the favorite fragrance of Prithvi. Karan comes to Rishab and scares him from behind. Rishab asks that why did he scare him. Karan explains that there was no network. Rishab replies that he wanted to inform Sherlin that he will get late so she can sleep without worrying about him. Karan started irritating Rishab and then even doused the contact of Prita. He doesn't let Rishab leave. Sherlin in her room calls Prithvi asking that where is he. The door opens and Prithvi entering says that he arrived just when she called him. Prithvi started romancing with Sherlin asking that why did her husband return because ever since he came back, they both have not been able to meet each other. Prithvi explains how he is really missing Sherlin, and Sherlin feels that it is really romantic, and they both started to enjoy. Karan calls Prita on the phone. Prita asks that what happened. Karan asks Prita to be a little polite. Prita replies that she is already really polite. Karan explains that Rishab is acting like a caring husband, and he gets tensed, asking Karan what is he saying. Karan put the call on speaker. Rishab informs Prita how he just wanted to inform Sherlin that they might get late so she can sleep. Prita explains that he is really nice. Rishab thanks her, saying that she is the only one who understands him. Karan mentions how he wanted to inform Prita, saying that Rishab loves Sherlin. Rishab taking the call asks Prita to go and inform Sherlin that he might get late so Sherlin can sleep without worrying for him. Karan once again asks Prita to go and inform Sherlin that Rishab will get late. And she ends the call. Rishab asks if Karan just wanted to pull his leg and add no real work. Karan replies that he called just to have fun. Then he leaves asking Rishab to come and have dinner. Prita explains how Rishab really cares for Sherlin, but Sherlin will never mend her ways. She decided to inform Sherlin. Prithvi gets tensed and Sherlin asks that what happened. Prithvi replies that he has been having a really strange feeling since morning. Sherlin is also really worried because Rishab has found out that someone is stealing from him. Prithvi asks if Sherlin knows what this means. Sherlin explains that it means that they would get to their destination really soon. Sherlin assures Prithvi that she trusts him. Prithvi explains that after they reach their destination, the Lutras will pay for all the times that they have humiliated them both. Sherlin kisses Prithvi and Prithvi lies down on the sofa, explaining that it is really tickling. Sherlin says that he must get used to such kisses. Prithvi puts Sherlin closer so they both go to the corner. Prita is walking in the hall. Prithvi asks if Sherlin wants him to smile. He asks her to give him such kisses as he would always smile. Sherlin started kissing Prithvi, asking that how will she kiss him if he keeps smiling. Prita is shocked to hear them both. Sherlin refused to stop, saying that she will keep kissing Prithvi. Prita suddenly opens the door and both Prithvi and Sherlin are together. Prita asks that what sort of people are they? Prithvi mentions that she is thinking wrong of him. Prita replies that what they were doing is wrong as she heard them both from outside. Prita asks Sherlin why she did this even when she promised her that she would end her relationship from Prithvi, but now she is only wondering how they can stoop so low. Prita asks that how are they able to do this even after being married. 
She questions Pritvi, asking that what was he doing with Kritika as he was just caring for her. She is suspicious if he has given her a sleeping pill so that she can sleep and he can start this heinous act. Pritvi tries to deny it all. Pritha explains that Risha was calling Shelin, but she did not answer the call and it was because she was busy in all this. Risha then requested her to inform Shelin that he might get late so Shelin should not wait for him. Pritha blames Shelin and Pritvi saying that they both are deceiving their partners and for this, they should be answerable not just to her but to the entire family. Pritvi tries to stop Pritha, but Pritha questions that why should she listen to him. Pritha says that their pot of wrongdoings has filled up. She vows to tell Raki what she just saw and she rushes towards the room of Raki in the hall. Pritvi and Sherlyn follows her. Sherlyn says that Pritvi must do anything he can to stop Pritha and he should even kill her. Pritvi then says that they cannot kill Pritha, but Sherlyn insists, questioning that what is the reason. Pritvi slaps Sherlyn, saying that they cannot kill Pritha, but they must just stop her. Pritvi stops Pritha when she is about to enter the room of Raki. Pritvi assures Pritha that he has made a big mistake and he vows that he would end all his relationship that he has with Sherlyn and they would not even think of being together. He assures Pritha that he would always take care of Kritika and he will live happily with Kritika. Shailin also demands Prita to give her a second chance since she also forgives Sonakshi who tried to take her daughter away from her. So she also has the right but Prita says that she doesn't believe them so she calls Raki. Raki comes out of the room asking Prita that what happened because of which she has called her at this hour. Prita looks towards both Pritvi and Shailin and they signals to her not to say anything. Raki demands Prita to reveal the truth but Prita is not able to say anything. Raki then asks Shailin to reveal the truth. Prita explains that Shailin planned something for the birthday party of Kritika and even she had planned something but Shailin got confused about the date of Kritika's birthday and Pritvi came and solved each and every confusion and she once again asks if the birthday of Kritika is three days from now. Raki says that Prita made her really feel scared and she asks if she can leave now. Prita apologized for waking her up so late in the night. Prita pulls Shelin to the temple and she demands both Prithvi and Shelin to place their hand over the gods at the temple and they should promise not to have any relationship other than their marital relationship who showers so much love on them. Prithvi says that they promised but Prita says that Prithvi must make the promise genuinely. Prithvi and Shelin both promise to end any sort of relationship that they had in the past. Prita also vows in the temple that she will leave no stone unturned in exposing their true face if they ever break their promise. Prita explains to Pritvi and Shailin that they must not think that she let them go because she forgave them but it is just because she cares for Kritika because even Kritika lost Pritvi and she is letting them go also for Rishab who loves Shailin as his wife and Prita asks both Pritvi and Shailin to leave and they should end their relationship immediately. Then Shailin and Pritvi leaves with shame. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching till the end. Please don't forget to like this video, share it and please subscribe to this channel for more updates and I will see you all again in my next video. Bye guys.